I am offering this poem to you since I have nothing else to give. Keep it like a warm coat when winter comes to cover you, or like a pair of thick socks the cold cannot bite through. I love you. I have nothing else to give you, so it is a pot full of yellow corn to warm your belly in winter. It is a scarf for your head to wear over your hair, to tie up around your face. I love you. Keep it. Treasure this as you would if you were lost, needing direction in the wilderness life becomes when mature. And in the corner of your drawer, tucked away, like a cabin or hogan in dense trees, come knocking and I will answer, give you directions, and let you warm yourself by this fire, rest by this fire, and make you feel safe. I love you. It's all I have to give, and all anyone needs to live, and to go on living inside, when the world outside no longer cares if you live or die, remember I Love you. Poems are places where we can recognize ourselves and our connections with others' feelings and ideas. And I think, especially for young people, it's a time of sort of great emotional learning. And so to recognize that someone has written in verse a feeling or an experience that they understand or connect with um, is one of the things that draws them to the form. We all live our daily lives, for the most part, in prose. We communicate in our mundane way, hoping that maybe what we say gets through, and hoping that some of what we say gets listened to without really knowing whether that's true or not. But you invite us with your poetry to communicate and to connect in a more complex and meaningful level. Testing, one, two, three. One, two, three, testing. One, two, three. How are you guys doing? The winner will advance to the state finals. With wonderful, deathless ditties, we built up the world's great cities. And hot music shakes the windows up and down the block. Poetry Out Loud gives young people an opportunity to uh, understand and experience poetry and then to perform it. Villainy sharpening an instrument behind a wall. But still he fluttered pulses when he said good morning. The best poems are equal parts mystery and clarity. Poetry is the music of words. And the child lies back, his thumb a hummock, his small knuckle buckled with cracks. Not only to understand the poem, but then to figure out how to convey it physically and verbally. And then when I want to add inflection and passion into it, that's when I start reciting in front of the mirror. An empty pair of dance shoes is a lot like the sand. I would bounce tennis balls while doing the poem to see where I wanted the beats to happen, where I wanted the rhythm. Alliteration has Alliteration. always been my love. This competition has been a part of my life for the last three years. When I'm not doing poetry, I also like to do poetry. How did you prepare for this poetry out loud? I just practiced until my ears fell off and my family's ears fell <laughs> off. What was the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> I practiced with my teachers and in front of the mirror, mostly for my dog. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to perform poetry well, one needs to understand it. Poems are also places where we can recognize ourselves and our connections with others' feelings and ideas. For God's sake, hold your tongue and let me love. When did my colds a forward spring remove? I love people who stand up for what they want or stand up for what they believe in, and I feel like that was very powerful throughout the poem. We've seen a wild variety in terms of subject, um, in terms of tone, in terms of time period. That's how you stay in style, without sticking and not getting stuck. Star followed star through boundless regions on and expires in the intensity of its own fires. Poetry isn't an equation to be solved. 
Sheer plod makes plow down Cillian chime. That I may rise and stand, or throw me, and bend your force to break, blow, burn. Creativity is a key skill that um, our young people need to be successful in life. There are laws we make thinking it was us who made them. Corporation, tree, morality. Where ignorant armies clash by night. It's a great opportunity for young people. Poetry Out Loud is a national recitation program sponsored by the National Endowment for the Arts and the Poetry Foundation. And each of today's contestants started in the classroom uh, level and they competed at the school level to all the way to representing their schools today or their organizations uh, through a pyramid competition structure. The winner and runner-up today will advance to the state finals to compete on Friday, March 13th in Richmond, Virginia for the title of state champion. Poetry Out Loud provides students an opportunity to master public speaking skills, to build self-confidence, and to learn about their literary heritage through classical and contemporary works of poetry. This isn't a football, it's a shoe. A man's brown leather Oxford. A cousin to a football, maybe. The same skin, but not the same. A thing made for the earth, not the air. I realize that this is a world where anything is possible. Well, it's definitely a performance skill. It really is a, a, an ability to um, act and, and share, uh, not only to understand the poem, but then to figure out how to convey it physically and verbally. So how did you prepare for this Poetry Out Loud? I practiced with my teachers and in front of the mirror and with my parents and mostly for my dog. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of got their feedback and took it into consideration. I'm really interested in the feedback that your dog gave you. I don't really know what else I did aside from practice it. Um, Learn how to relax? Yeah, that, 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 that does help, <laughs> learning how to relax. <laughs> First, I go through all the poems, um, or a lot of the poems, and read them and see what touches me.